Hello everyone. Let's solve this right away. We have 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x equals 30. Before I solve this, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you can get more of my videos. Okay, for us to solve this, we are going to apply one of the laws of indices here. If we have the same base, we can pick one of them. Then if it is multiplication, we add the powers. And this is equal to 30. Now 3 to the power of 2x is equal to 30. Our next target is to get the value of x. And as such, we we'll would add... Um, Take the log of both sides. Log 3 to the power of 2x is equal to log 30. And I believe you know when to apply logarithm. Since you cannot express 30 in this form, you take log of both sides. Now this is the power. The power would always come behind to multiply the log. So 2x will multiply log 3. And that is equal to log 30. Okay, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so that you can get more of this. Now, from here, we want to make 2x the subject. So we divide this by log 3. Then we divide this by log of 3. This is going with this one. So we have 2x. And that is log 30 over log um, 3. Okay, so from here we have 2x equals log 30 divided by log 3 is now log 10. Okay, this is how you can simplify it. Log 30 here is log 3 times 10. Then we divide by log 3. Okay, I brought this 3 out of 30 because we have log 3 as the, denom um, the denominator. Now, from here, we'll apply another law of indices to the numerator here so that 2x will be equal to log 3 plus log 10. Okay, so this is to say that log 3 plus 10 plus log 10 is equal to log 30. We divide this by log of um, 3. Now we have 2x, which is equal to this log 3 is for both numerator. So we have log 3 divided by log 3 plus log 10 divided by log 3. Now this is going with this one. So our 2x is equal to 1 plus log 10 divided by log 3. Now we'll apply another law of logarithm so that um, we change the base of this. We're having 2x equals 1 plus log 10 to base 3. This 3 right here becomes the base. Now, the next thing is to divide all through by 2x. So if I like, okay, let me divide this by 2. I mean, we divide all through by 2. Then this right here will be multiplied by 1 over 2. Remember, to divide anything by 2 is to multiply it by half. Now, let me open this bracket. This is going with this one. Now, x is equal to... 1 times 1 over 2 is 1 over 2, plus 1 times this, okay, um, 1 over 2 times this is 1 over 2 log 10 to base 3. So this right here is the value of x. But there will be need for us to verify because we want to be sure. Okay, so this is the value of x. And um, the equation is 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x equals 30. So in place of x now, I'm going to put 1 over 2 
plus 1 over 2 log 10 to the base 3. Then multiply by another 3 to the power x. So this right here will be multiplying 3 to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 10 to the base 3. Okay, so we close this. Now, if we multiply these two and we do not have 30, that means we were not correct in our workings. Now, what do we do? This two, this 1 over 2 is the power to 10. So that means we have 3 to the power of 1 over 2 plus log 10 to the power of 1 over 2. This is to be 3. Okay, then in the second bracket, okay, let me change this. In the second bracket, we have the same thing. 3 to the power of 1 over 2 plus log 10 to the power of 1 over 2 to the base of 3. Okay. Now from here, this 10 to the power of half is the same as the square root of 10. So we have 3 to the power of 1 over 2 plus log square root of 10 to base 3. Okay, this is in the first bracket. Then in the second, we still have 3 to the power of half plus log um, square root of 10. To base 3 okay and now we'll apply one of the laws of um, indices since it is addition since we are adding the powers it means that um, we can express this in this form 3 to the power of 1 over 2 multiply by 3 to the power of this log square root of 10 to base 3 because if you pick one of the bases, you still add the powers to get this. So we have this. In the second, we have the same thing. Okay, then multiply by 3 to the power of log square root of 10 to base 3. Now, 3 to the power of half is the same as square root of 3. Multiply by 3 to the power of log square root of 10 to base 3. This log to be 3 and this 3 can cancel, so we have 10 over there. I mean, root 10. Then we have this. Then in the second bracket, we have the same square root of 3 multiplied by root 10. This and this will cancel each other. Now let's multiply root 3 times root 10 is root, is root 30. Then multiply by the same root 30. Okay, and when you multiply this, it will give you 30. So this means that we are very correct to say that our x is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 10 to base 3. Thank you for watching. And um, a reminder, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe.